You know how when you join war and you look at your cards over here and you're like, okay, what the beans are we going to do with these cards? Because you have no win condition, you're facing some of the toughest clans in the world. Who is this? I mean, look at these guys. They're like almost double our trophies. We have 3,000, they have 50 whatever million trophies. And you're like, I got no cards. I got no cards. Let me tell you, today... <laughs> Dude, I found this deck out of out of garbage cards, okay? Out of garbage cards. And I think I'm going to try and use it on ladder today. I think I'm going to try and use it on ladder or in a grand challenge. I haven't decided yet. We'll decide amongst the course of the video. But, uh, absolutely insane. So I'm going to show you this first replay because it is obviously against a deck that you think would be halfway decent. They got the newly buffed Royal Giant in the deck. And of course, uh, they have two splash unit cards. They have the wizard and the executioner. They're they're marching along with arrows. They got rage, goblins, and then they have one other card that you guys know so well, hog rider. Okay, and this guy, dude, he thought he was gonna own me. Obviously, with both those win conditions, and and sure enough, they were super lucky to get both win conditions, hog and royal giant. But here's what I got. I got. I'm rolling with expo. Okay. <clears throat> and that's the deck we're gonna cover today, Expo. Expo, of all decks, Expo! Dude, I don't think I've ever done an Expo deck on this channel. I don't know how to play it still, but I can win with this deck because it is so stupid easy that I think anybody can win with it. So watch that Expo just absolutely do demolish that tower. So now we're one tower down, so all we gotta do pretty much this whole rest of this battle is play on the defense. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this thing up. I drop Expo in the middle. He's rushing Hog, he's got everything raged up. The Barb Barrel actually is coming in clutch as well. It's insane how much versatility and how much use you get out of the Barb Barrel. It does excellent because it's able to take out those units that a Log would take out, but then it also provides the distraction on the back end that you normally don't get with the Log, which is absolutely awesome. Now this battle I'm going to play a little bit slower because this one, I just want to show you guys that I beat Royal Giant and Hog with this deck. <laughs> um, this one right here, what do you mean friendly battle cancelled? Okay. This one we're playing against, uh, obviously Hunter, which I think is actually a super strong card, Graveyard. So I drop just out of fright, I drop an Expo because I didn't really see a good starting hand at that moment. So I got my barbell barrel coming in. I decided to go op at lane, opposite lane just to try to split up whatever push he's got coming. So right now he's gonna drop his graveyard. I should have dropped my, I obviously should have dropped my archers down, and that was definitely his biggest push of the game, and he did extremely well with it. And I thought at that time I was pooched, um, and by pooched I mean in trouble. Okay, I don't know if there's an actual expression. Look at that barb barrel coming clutch though, taking out everything in its path. Dark Goblin, another underwhelming, overwhelmingly under leveled, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but doesn't get the credit that it deserves. Dark Goblin coming in clutch. That lightning right there scared the poo out of me, okay? I hate to be like saying stuff like that, but it scared the bejesus out of me, okay? I was so scared because he had lightning. He could have easily lightninged most of my defenses from that point on, like this right here. Lightning that, oh, he did lightning that. I was going to say, like this right here. Perfect lightning opportunity for the guy. But, was able to keep on pushing. Watch this. This flying machine able to take out um, a little bit of that and distract the hunter so that I was able to take the hunter out. The hunter was the, my main concern this time. Um, so then from that point on, I'm like, well, I can't let him cross the bridge anymore because if he crosses the bridge, he's just going to get massive graveyard value. So I was doing everything I could to stop him at the bridge, and I think that was what the turning point in the game was. And I also hadn't even used Fireball to that point. And so I started using Fireball a little bit more. Um, I'm with actually two Fireballs away right here, but I dropped my <coughs> Expo instead because I think I can get a lock. And it worked out. It worked out. So that worked out awesome. Able to pick up the second W. Yeah. So we are going to take this thing... I think I want to take it into, uh, honestly, I think I want to take it into ladder. So let me see if I can copy, how do you copy your war deck? So let's take this, ooh, which deck do I want to take out? So I think I'm going to take out, yeah, that deck's garbage. 
I'm gonna take that deck out. Absolute garbage. <laughs> so let's take, go to deck five, okay? And so the only card that I, I guess I could upgrade the archers, I could upgrade the, so a lot of my cards are definitely way under max. I don't know if I can do ladder with this. Let's try it. Let's try a grand challenge <laughs> because I actually finally saved up enough gems to do a grand challenge. All my cards are so low level. So let's try grand challenge and see what we can do. Hopefully we get like, I know we're going to face Royal Giant, but it's just, it's not like if it's like when. So let's see what we can do here. Okay. Let's focus. Okay. No more replays. Let's get into the battles. All right. So he's going to start off that in the back that makes sense actually for him so here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna do this just because I think that's a cool move and then I'm gonna go lumberjack right here I don't know how it got a lock on the tower instead of that ice golem but it did and I am so happy right now <laughs> now lumberjack is gonna wreak havoc on that thing so here's what we're gonna do here oh that's actually really good so we're gonna go skeleton army obviously on both of those little dudes. Skeleton Army focused on the right critters and didn't even focus on the Ice Golem, which that worked out extremely well. It looks like he's paying 2.6. And we have that tower within like fireball range already. Like, I'm not even playing that well and smoked that tower. So now we gotta defend for two flipping minutes basically. So I'm gonna split my archers in the back again. Um, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to put a flying machine up. I think that's a good move. Let's go over here with Expo right here. There we go. Should take a lot of that damage out. He's probably going to go... Yeah, that's what I thought he was going to do, actually. Um, no knockback effect with the barb barrel. But look at that. Look at that block. Oh my gosh, he threw everything he had at me. And he couldn't do anything. So... That's 2.6. We're playing. This is insane. Have I been missing this deck? After this battle, we're going to go check this guy's stats and see if he's like a legit player or not legit, you know? Because that's obviously my biggest concern whenever I play somebody. It's like, did I just kind of get lucky because he doesn't know what he's doing? Um, so, that was kind of a bad play on my part. But I honestly, I didn't have anything to play. So, there's that. So, let's go Expo right here. Oh, and then he is going to do that. Oh, so he's not a legit player. Obviously, he missed the flying machine. That's pretty much good game for him. Um, like, there's nothing he can do at this point to recover from that. If you miss a flying machine, dude, it's so over. What are you doing with that? Like, honestly, what are you doing? Honestly. Um, let's just try and take this tower out. I, I think I, I'm trying to get crowns, obviously. Let's go Skeleton Army. I think he's quit. He he had to have quit. I mean, that's... Did I do a Classic Challenge or a Grand Challenge? Like, what did I do? What? No way. Did he disconnect? Was he that low on Elixir? Um, let's fireball that because I do want to get the uh, tower down. What? The fireball doesn't even do that much damage. It's been a long time since I played in a challenge or anything. So this guy, obviously... Unfortunately, I don't think I can give myself that much credit because this guy probably is pretty new at the game. I mean, 4,400 trophies, uh, 12 wins. I don't probably classic challenge. I don't know, you know. But whatever. Let's play one more battle, dude. That was awesome, you guys. This could be the next deck. I'm not even kidding you. This is like no joke. Um, Expo. Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk? All right, so let's go. We'll probably wait for him to do the first move and just see how it goes from there. I'm learning this deck along with you guys. So this is like honestly my fourth battle with this deck. That's it. So I am going to I'm going to split archers in the back. Let's just see what he does. <clears throat> let's get ready this lane. Just kidding. Let's get ready this lane. And I like that move cuz I think it's fun. And we got a lock. We got a lock. Oh, that's going to be absolutely wreaking carnage on this guy. I am a little bit concerned about the golem, obviously. But he is going to... It does look like he's going to let that thing play out. So let's go here. Uh, let's get that going. Um, 
A little bit worried about his lumberjack still alive. Oh, yes. Oh, I didn't even need the scar me. That was a waste. I forgot my expo would come back and save the day for me. Gosh, dang it. So let's go fireball up on this real quick. And then I have to click this thing on my computer real quick as well. And it looks like we're going to get quite a bit of damage on that tower also. So golem. Looks like golem lumberjack with a little bit of pump action. Mm, night witch. Interesting. So I can deal with her. It's just dealing with the golem that's going to be a little bit difficult. Really? You didn't put a golem down, huh? Interesting. So let's go right here, obviously. And then let's take out that wizard. That's what I want to do. Oh, yes, it locked on the wizard. That was so clutch. Oh, I could have probably saved my flipping... Come back. Yes. 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 Come back. Come back. Save the day. Come back. Save the day. So he does have his Lumberjack coming in. I'm not too worried about it. We'll get the Skarmie up on the Lumberjack. Yes, yes, yes. And then let's try and put an Expo down. Let's just take this tower out. Usually Expo is not a two, out, two uh, tower game, but we're going to turn it into such right now. And then let's use our Dark Goblin, obviously, to clean up all those bats. Yes. And it looks like we did get another lock on to the golem and my dark goblin is out of reach of the <laughs> oh, out of out of reach of his little homeboys let's go expo up here just to distract come on no oh crap okay so that was a good tornado on his part so he is gonna go ahead and take <clears throat> that tower that's very unfortunate i didn't think he was gonna be able to do that but he did it good for him super happy that's okay. We need some opposition here. We do need some opposi opposition. So what are we going to do now? He's actually got a decent push coming in. So let's go flying machine in the back. And let's go another expo defensive. So we can get up a push here. And I can't remember. Oh crap. What did he do? Did he fireball that? I didn't even see a fireball coming. Oh crap. That's actually a really good move on his part. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go flying machine with a little bit of dark goblin action right here. Yes. Oh, that was a horrible dark goblin, you guys. Horrible dark goblin. And it looks like we got a little bit of damage on the tower, which is awesome. But he got a lot of damage on our tower as well. So let's go Skarmie right here to take that out. And then let's go Expo right here. Because I think he'll come back and get that Expo. Yes. And I think we'll actually take that all out, which is awesome. So then here's what I'm going to do next. It's going to be crazy. So we are going to throw a flying machine clear in the back. Yes. That's going to be an awesome play. And then here's what I'm going to do. We're going to go like this, like this, like this. And then I am going to fireball that. Yes. Get the minion. Get the minion. Yes. Got the minion. We're on tower. We're on tower. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. That was awesome. Uh -huh. That worked out a little bit better. As far as this guy's stats, let's go check him out. Obviously, I'm not saying he's going to be super good, but I think that was a really good battle. He did really well. Um, whoa. Okay, so this guy's actually better than I am. Uh, well, not better. Please. But 15 max wins uh, challenge. So he's actually pretty decent. Uh, he's gotten up to Masters 2, which is just about as much as I can say for myself. This deck rocks, you guys. This deck absolutely rocks. Go try it out. New Expo deck. This thing's going to take the world by storm. I'm not kidding.